Wooden Cottage near Shinburn Alley in St. George. She was called Auntie Witch because it was rumored she could see ghosts. The children in the neighborhood took great sport in terrorizing poor old Auntie. They threw stones at the Wooden Cottage until all of her windows were broken into glassy crumbs. Auntie finally came out with a plan that worked. She bought a pair of geese from a farm at work, a male and a female, and allowed them to have the full run of her yard. Soon, they produced an entire generation of bare-tempered geese that attacked anyone who came within a scent of their guarded territory. <laughs> this allowed Auntie to have a full season of peace and quiet. But this too came to an end, not just for Auntie, but for the entire island of Bermuda. News circled around the island that Redhead and Bloody Burns, the dreadful monster, was on the prowl. It was known to capture naughty children and carry them off to a horrible, unknown place. was to their main purpose was to their main purpose was to have some fun terrorize in the whole neighborhood. Before they could decide on their first victim, the most frightening skeleton ever seen jumped out of nowhere and grabbed all five of them with his sharp, burning fingers. Earl Chevy Jones does not recall how he was able to escape the clutches of the skeleton and run all the way home. But he does remember this day. The piercing screams of his friends as they were carried away. The only evidence that Redhead and Bloody Burns had visited the island were large bloody footprints in several of the parishes. And the only one that was able to stop it was Auntie Witch. 